Hello everybody. So you've come here today to find out how to change your color, add those cool gradients, and see what you got in game. Well, you've come to the right place. So, first you want to launch the Clone Hero Launcher. Go to Config, Directories, click any of these folders. Now you'll see here that there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. We want to click on App Data, Local Low, Srilene Inc, Clone Hero, and then the Profiles.ini, it's just called Profiles. Double click on that. So for now, you're going to see your player name here, whatever that ends up being. In fact, I'm going to delete this for now. I can redo this at some other time. All right. So your player name, well, for example, minus Odor. So I might see this. What we're going to do is change it in a way that we can see color. All right. So there's a couple things to know for this. First of all, choose what you want your color to be. And use this website, latourjk.com slash textcolorfader. I'll include the link in the description. So let's say my name is Hodor1355, and I just want it to be, I don't know, two colors. Or better yet, even one color. If I wanted one color, and let's say I wanted my name to be red, I look up red hex code. And we get this. We get this. All right. So I'm going to copy and paste this. Copy. We're going to go back to that profile.ini. If I want just a single color, I'll put color equals and then whatever that is. So in this case, it's hashtag FF0000. I want to capitalize the F's. That's important. We'll type what we want in between. So I'll type my name. And then to end the command, we'll do backslash color. This should enable my player name to be red. We can see this in the game. I'll pop up an example. So if I press start, and I go here. Oh, I guess I need to uh, save the changes, huh? I'll try one more time. My color should appear red now. So now I have a fully red name. Awesome. So again, it looks like this format for a single color. You pick the color of your hex code. You can look it up online. Just be like blue hex code, purple hex code. Make sure all the numbers or all the letters are capitalized, even if they aren't when you copy and paste it. Type your name in between and then end it with this every time. All right. Now, something else you can do is you can add bold, italics, or underline with the letters B, I, or U. Let's say I wanted it bold. All I have to do is this. So what I did is I'm bolding everything, this whole entire thing. So that would bold my name for underline. You do this. And for italics, you do this. You can also highlight your name using the mark command, although usually the highlighted names look a little iffy, so I usually don't. I'm not going to use any of those for now just to avoid distraction. But let's say Hodor one color just ain't good enough. Well, I got a solution for you. It is this website that I was mentioning. So we're going to go to text color fader. I'm going to minimize these for now. Let's say I want my name to be, and they have a whole bunch of pre made things here. So really cool stuff. Uh, my personal one is. Pastel Rainbow. I love that one. 
And then you do the number of colors for however many characters are in your game. So for mine, it's nine. So nine colors. Don't change any of these. Click Generate Color Faded Text. And boom, this is what it will look like once it goes in the game. Roughly. Now, you have all these pretty things down here. Don't worry about the commands too much. What we're worried about is the hex code. All right. So this is the hex code for each individual letter to give it the illusion of a gradient. We need to put each of these in. All right. So I'm going to bring back up my profile.ini and show you how to do this. So we're going to start with our first color, which is FDA3B4. All right, and we're only doing that for the letter H. That's what this H is here for. So the H of Hodor. And then we have to close it by doing that same thing we did before, slash color. All right, you continue this pattern until you have each of the letters done. So now I wanna do it for O. This is the next one over right here. All right, so that'll be what we use for O. So color equals FSC, make sure to put a hashtag FSC693, all right, and that'll be a lowercase o, backslash color finishes the command. And then we keep doing it for so on and on uh, until you finally get to the end. Uh, once you've reached the end of your name, all you have to do is nothing. You have each of the parts colored, you should be good to go. Uh, again, if you want to add bold, you can put a bold on the end and beginning, and that'll bold your entire name again. You can experiment as to whether or not you like that. Make sure you save this document, that's a key thing. Save the document, go back into the game, and then you should be good to go. That is how you highlight or color your name differently in Clone Hero. Hope you all have a great weekend, and see you next time.